Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. You're with me, your host, Chad Riveros, and today we are doing something very different. Guys, we've went around Santon, we've been around Bryanston, we've shown you some of the most exclusive homes these areas have to offer. But why are these areas so popular? What makes Santon and Bryanston the most searched suburbs on our private property home page? We're about to find out because I'm going to be taking you on a tour around Bryanston and around Santa and we're going to look at what makes these suburbs so sought after, what makes people want to live in these suburbs, raise families in these suburbs and maybe even retire in these suburbs and we're not just going to be doing that, we're going to be driving around these suburbs in this car right here, a 2012 Porsche 911 Carrera S supplied to us by none other than the team at Prestige Marks. These guys have been wonderful with the amount of cars they've given us and this is a very, very special car. This is a 991.1 model 2012. It comes with the yachting blue interior and all the bells and whistles you can imagine a Porsche of this caliber comes with. You've got cruise control, you've got PDC, you've also got the incredible Porsche gearbox, the PDK gearbox. This is Porsche's version of the DCT double clutch transmission. This is mated to a 3.8 litre engine that sounds absolutely incredible, especially when you press this sport button. The revs are sublime. I could listen to that engine note any day of the week, but enough fun, let me turn that off. So again, as I said, it comes with tons of bells and whistles, electric seat, this incredible interior, a touch screen, as well as a screen in your dials. It brings a lot of modern elements to a car that might not be the newest we've shown you, but it is definitely one of the most fun cars I've had to drive and the privilege I've had to take it around Bryanston and Santon. It just shows you how easily this could become a day-to-day -day driver. Porsche has evolved so much over the years. Those 911s back in the day, They'd be, they'd be difficult cars to drive, they'd be dangerous cars to drive, it wouldn't be something you just want to sit in and take out. But this is, without a doubt, one of the most comfortable and enjoyable cars I've ever had the privilege of driving. But, before we go any further, I need you guys to do me a favor. I want you guys to jump into the comment section, I want you to tell me what area you live in and what makes that area so special. Give us some of your hidden gems, tell us about cafes you love, shopping centers, areas, views. Tell me all about that, I'd love to see where you guys live and for those of you watching who either live in Santon or Bryanston or want to live, that aspire to live in Santon and Bryanston, tell us why. Tell us why you want to move there, tell us why you love living there, I'm keen to hear about that as well. But we are headed off to Bryanston right now, so catch us there. We're going to see you in a bit. Bryanston is where we start the tour of these two suburbs today and Bryanston is also where we started 
our journey with the Home Shopper Show. As I'm sure you'll remember if you did tune in on the previous episode where we did a recap of our first three homes that we've ever shot. If you haven't watched that, guys, find that video, take a look, it's super interesting. Charlene Negus was the first estate agent that stepped forward and decided to show us exactly what Bryanson had to offer and it was so much. We toured luxury villas, we went to farm style lodges and we even took our first look at what a mansion looks like in Bryanston. So if you mention that you own a posse in Bryanston, you are oh so posh baby. Bryanston reeks of cash, is home to the exclusive Bryanston Country Club and has enough boutiques to satisfy the most ardent northern suburb shopper. And then there's the uber trendy Bryanston organic market on a Thursday and a Saturday, a firm favorite with the locals. This is the stuff that upwards mobility is made of. Bryanston is one of the few areas that is close to the city center and yet still has that country feel. It's also a popular suburb to raise a family. Some of Gauteng's finest schools are close by. Private schools include Brescia House, St. Peter's, St. Stidion's College, Michael Mount Waldorf School, Radial School, the American International School of Johannesburg, King's School and Crawford School. Then the government schools in the area include Bryanston Primary, Bryanston High, Bryanston Ladder School, Brian Dale Primary, which is a primary school I went to, and then Ramberg Hoor School. On the downside, there are days within Bryanston where traffic congestion can get a bit nasty. Now, Lightstone says what would have cost you about 650,000 in 2004 would have sold for 1.45 million in 2008. Let that sink in. That said, sales in the area have been slow over the same period, but that could just mean that Bryanson homeowners are holding onto the investments tightly. In 2004, the average price of a freehold property was 1.6 million. In 2008, the average price of a freehold property was in the region of 3.2 million. Sexual schemes in the area haven't done badly either. These averaged about 500,000 four years ago, and in less than five years, they are now valued around 900,000 rand. Bryanson Country Club, Bryan Park Shopping Centre and Santon Clinic are also very handy to have so nearby. And the new developments in Bryanson ensure that this area stays top of mind for first time home buyers and investors alike. So whether you're looking for rolling lawns and Tuscan style estates or a nifty townhouse in a Lani suburb, Bryanson is best. Just make sure you don't work too far from home, otherwise you might find the traffic to be a tad testing.
Thank you.